we're back with the director of The Beatles, Get Back, Peter Jackson. One thing that really surprised me, and mm -hmm. I think it's going to surprise a lot of people, is that everybody knows that Billy Preston is often called the fifth oh, Beatle. Yeah, yeah. And along yeah. with George Martin, yeah, like, yeah, often yeah. called the fifth Beatle. Yeah, yeah. And he wasn't even supposed to be on the album. He was just a friend of George's who stopped by, and they mm -hmm. said, oh, we were saying we needed a piano player. Could mm -hmm. you sit in? And he does, and they go, okay, can you stay? What's so funny about it is they are writing, you know, these songs, and a lot of the songs they're, they're creating um, have a keyboard you know, you're element. So now you've got one, either John or Paul has to put their guitar down and go and play the, the keyboard. So the Beatles are sort of become, you know, one guitar down when everyone's doing the keyboard. And they start to talk about the fact they need a, they, 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 you know, they should, because they want to do them live, they, they're not going to overdub them. They sort of, they need a keyboardist. We need a keyboardist. And then suddenly their old friend from Hamburg walks in to say hi, great keyboard player. And John, oh, Billy, uh, we need a keyboard player. Uh, there, there's a piano, do you want to sit in there? Oh, and, it, and you just see it, it's, so, it's kind of, it's, it's hilariously funny. Billy goes, oh yeah. And, and within minutes, he's doing these great keyboard things that are in these songs that you recognize in these songs. It's kind of unbelievable. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really funny, but quite emotional. When he arrives, mm. it's a tonal change. Yeah, yeah. He like brings. It's like someone yeah. turned on an air conditioner in the room. Well, the excitement, this, 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 such yeah. freshness yeah. and excitement yeah. and energy yeah. there. Yeah, we have a clip here oh, yeah, of uh, of uh, Billy playing great. with the Beatles, Jim. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. It's great. You're giving us a lift, Bill. Oh, really? We've been doing this for days now. Yeah. Yeah. Weeks. Mm. No, no, no. Just no, no. choking. Mm. Really, voice is choking. I just wish I had yesterday's voice for today's backing. I was swinging yesterday. Voice-wise, that is. I've just gone over the top. Don't let me down, down. Sandwiches, Gail. Yeah. Sandwiches. <laughs> mm. it's, yeah. it's extraordinary. I mean, what's also amazing, apart from the Let It Be songs, and is you see solo songs. You know, you see their future solo songs being, which you'll never do as the Beatles, but they, but they don't know that, so they start doing them. And I, it is a moment when John Lennon and Paul McCartney are working on, on a song, Give Me Some Truth. Now, Give Me Some Truth is a wonderful John Lennon song on the Imagine album. And I just had no idea that Paul McCartney was involved in this. And he's clearly co-written a song. So anyway, I, it's the next time I see Paul, I say to him, so what, I had no idea, Paul, that, that you, were, you co-wrote Give Me Some Truth. And he, he looks at me and says, what, what, what give, give Me Some Truth, you mean John's song from, from, um, from his solo album? I said, yeah, yeah. And he said, no, I didn't have anything to do with that. And so, so I get my iPad, I said, look, <laughs> and you're talking, and, and, and he looks at it. And he shakes his head and he says, I, I have no memory of working on that song. And then he sort of had a, had a twinkle in his eye and he says, but it's a really great song, so I'm happy to take a little bit of credit for it. <laughs> but he, he couldn't remember, he couldn't remember that he was working on Give Me Some Truth with, with John. It's, um... Peter, I know um, I said I wasn't going to mention Lord of the Rings, but you mentioned the Lord of the Rings before I did, so I feel like I can ask you this question and it's entirely your fault. Um, I've heard that the Beatles actually wanted to make the Lord of the Rings mm. movie. Mm -hmm. And as um, someone who made the definitive Lord of the Rings mm. movie and now has spent all these years with the Beatles in such an intimate way, how would you cast John, Paul, George, and Ringo if you were to make the Lord of the Rings again? Would you make them the Hobbits? Well, I, I mean, I like the idea. I mean, obviously, Paul's Frodo, isn't he? I mean, it's, 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 are, we, are we talking yeah. about Lord of the Rings? Here we are, okay. Ah, uh, this is yeah. Okay. It didn't, not what I th what I thought this conversation would be. Okay, Paul is obviously Frodo. I mean, you get to and Sam is obviously Ringo, isn't it? So then you've got yes. Ah, uh, well, John's Gollum, isn't he? He has, and George's. Gan I mean, like, look, they they cast themselves and they and they did it right. They, Gandalf, you know, George, the mystic magician. That's perfect. I mean, we have to age him up a bit. Um, and I guess if you had to have Gollum and you had the four Beatles, you John Lennon is the obvious one, isn't he? Absolutely, Sam Dunn. Peter, thanks again. This has been great. You're welcome. Fun.
Thanks again to Peter Jackson. His stunning documentary series, The Beatles Get Back, premieres tomorrow on Disney+. Plus, and I'm very excited to share even more of my conversation with Peter on this Monday's episode of The Late Show. We'll be right back.